dedication to sport. But as the Olympic torch for the 2008 Summer Games was lit in Greece today, it became instantly clear this year's relay has taken on a different tone. Protesters marred Beijing's cherished moment calling for a boycott over China's crackdown in Tibet. An exclusive Global National Can West News Service poll finds it's an idea that more than half of Canadians do not support. But as Francis Lavaggio reports, it may be an issue impossible to ignore in the run-up to the Games. It's the ceremony that's supposed to help bring the world together. It has the force to unite humanity and to stand for harmony. But as the Beijing Olympic torch began its four-and-a-half-month journey in Olympia, Greece today, harmony was hard to find. The protests come amidst continued violence in Tibet. Today, new reports the Chinese military opened fire on hundreds of protesting monks and nuns, killing at least two. It's just the latest incident after two weeks of turmoil that has Tibet supporters demanding the world punish China for its actions by boycotting the Summer Olympic Games. In light of the recent events, it is entirely inappropriate for the torch to pass through Tibet. Uh, the Olympic flame means so much to so many people and the idea that it would be run over the blood of Tibetans uh, is simply unconscionable. Sue Holloway hopes not. The former kayaker and cross-country skier was supposed to carry the Canadian flag at the opening ceremonies during the 1980 Olympics in Moscow until Canada pulled out. This was my second Olympics and I was ranked in the top five in the world and I anticipated that I had a good, good chance at meddling. And so I had spent all of my energy and all my dreams and hopes were pinned on going to Moscow and doing my very best, which I felt would put me on the podium. So I was completely and absolutely devastated. Which is why sports analysts like Bruce Dobigan say boycotts hurt the wrong people. I don't think there was any result from the previous boycotts. I don't think they did any good for anyone. Uh, I suppose it might have made someone feel good at the time, but in the end they didn't help and we hurt a lot of athletes at the time. Today, the Canadian Olympic Committee said in a statement, while the COC wishes for a peaceful resolution in Tibet, it does not support a boycott, saying athletes dedicate many years of their lives to train and represent our country at the Olympic Games, and we believe they should be given the opportunity to realize their dreams and make Canada proud. And today, the head of the International Olympic Committee agreed. The major governments do not want it. And the sports community definitely does not want it. And I'm sure that public opinion does not want it. The IOC has joined calls for a restraint on the violence in Tibet, but as the symbol of peace makes its way towards the troubled region, protesters expect violence will in fact follow the flame. Francis Silvaggio, Global News. Well, anyway.